Hello, friends. Welcome to my daily diary. I want to cover for you today what I did on Saturday, January 14th, Sunday the 15th, and Monday, January 16th of 2023. So, eventful days. 14th, I was in Washington, D.C. Uh, from the night before and uh, was... Um, uh, working uh, in the early morning on uh, various emails and things on my laptop, getting ready for uh, at some administrative uh, appointments for the 2023 calendar, planning uh, for the upcoming March for Life events, for approvals of different appeal letters going out, for the preparation for the meeting of pro-life leaders that we are uh, running and for upcoming trip plans. So I did work in the morning from my hotel room and then was picked up and brought to the Planned Parenthood facility in Washington, D.C., where I helped to lead and speak to a gathering of pro-life activists there. We had a morning prayer vigil and protest. It was kind of cold. There were even some snowflakes falling, but it was a, uh, a good, uh, intense time together. Abortions were taking place. There were death scorts there, and you'll see some uh, pictures uh, of it on my, uh, on my social media platforms. Uh, once I got finished with the uh, uh, leading the prayers and the protest there, I was brought right to the airport where I had to prepare to get my flight back to Florida. And I had to do some phone calls there with my team and some uh, additional emails on the computer while waiting for the plane and then while on the plane and while in the car back to the office. All of those times I was doing uh, that various work on the kind of topics that I just mentioned got to the office and then really had a very fruitful time of uh, unpacking, starting to pack for the days of the March for Life, going through paperwork, going through cards and uh, condolence cards uh, that had come in and even some late, late arriving Christmas cards. Uh, had to do so much at my desk, uh, getting ready for talks and, and, and presentations and and broadcasts that would be coming in the upcoming days, looking at the calendar. I did desk work for several hours. Uh, and then uh, later on in the afternoon, uh, visited, uh, went over to uh, Merritt Island and had some uh, meetings with uh, some of our administrative staff over there. A number of them live on uh, Merritt Island. So I met with our uh, executive uh, director and uh, went over some um, uh, some additional plans for the coming week, uh, including for San Francisco, actually, uh, the Walk for Life that will be heading up there. So that was Saturday the 14th. Sunday the 15th, uh, here in my office, I uh, taped uh, the scripture reflection that we aired uh, in the morning. I did uh, emails in regard to a new program we're doing, End Abortion US, it's called. Uh, some planning for upcoming trips and broadcasts and the upcoming events of the week in, the, in Washington, and also prepared the 2023 version of our donor survey. Uh, that is uh, an important uh, task each year as we get that survey ready. There are always some new questions we want to ask. Got ready for the uh, National Prayer Service, made sure that the program uh, was all uh, prepared for the uh, clergy that will be participating and the uh, the audience. And then in the evening, I had a very enjoyable dinner with uh, four of my uh, team members of, of Priests for Life. We went into Orlando to a seafood place. Seafood is my favorite, and uh, we uh, had a great dinner there. And in the midst of that, of course, we were planning and looking forward to the week ahead in Washington. Monday the 16th came and busy day uh, here at the office, got up early, did my um, taping for the, the daily scripture reflection so that we could broadcast that later on, had administrative phone calls and the staff uh, briefing in the morning, uh, worked on at my desk on emails regarding upcoming events, upcoming interviews, um, an upcoming meeting for activism. I approved early in the morning a legal letter that our general counsel prepared for us, updating pro-life activists on the current state of the, um, the, their rights to protest and sidewalk counsel and stuff like that, latest things from the courts. Uh, did some more postings in preparation of postings, approved a whole array of press releases after we had our uh, 10 a.m. meeting with our production and media team 
uh, talking about what kind of press releases we'd be sending out during the week, what kind of opinion pieces we would be creating, what kind of email blasts and parish faxes we would be doing. So we had that meeting and then I approved a whole array of press releases uh, for the week. Then also appear, approved some email blasts and some mailing uh, 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 texts that will be going out as well. Uh, that brought me through uh, lunchtime, uh, after which I had a uh, more desk work and then a calendar meeting together with our executive team. Uh, more desk work after that, and then a 4.15 p.m. radio interview. And then more desk work after that, and then uh, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, connection test in the studio. 6.30 p.m. was I was on War Room with Steve Bannon. 7 p.m. I had a uh, an hour-long uh, taped interview with Dr. James Dobson. And then at 8.15, I had a about a half hour to 40 minute uh, uh, interview with Dr. Matt Harrison, one of our medical advisors, who had me tape a whole bunch of short five-minute pro-life Q&As. After that, about nine o'clock, I had dinner while uh, having a phone call with our executive director. And after dinner, then I was pretty tired and went to bed. So that's what I did on the 14th, 15th, and 16th of January of 2023. You know, these daily updates are very important to me, and I'm glad that you follow them because I think that uh, leaders in my position who have the support of so many people and who ask for the support of so many people to get a job done should be talking about how they're getting that job done. And I hope you appreciate that transparency and accountability. Onward we go in ending abortion. God bless you all.